Welcome, in front of me I have Garmin Approach S50 and I'm gonna show you how to uh, pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, we can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the other way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set it, set it up, you can set up this watch without pairing it with a phone. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the um, uh, settings after the watch has been already set up. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, you will need to turn on your watch and to do it, you need to press and hold the upper button until you see the uh, Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the Garmin logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see this welcome message on the screen. You can tap on it and it will bring you to the list of languages. And here you can scroll through the list by swiping up and down. Now, find the language you would like to use on your watch and then tap on it to select it. After you select the language, you will see the message asking if you want to pair your watch with a phone. We want to do that, so tap on the check mark. Come on. Okay, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. That's how it looks like. Basically, you have a QR code, which means that the mo watch is um, available for connection. Okay, and now we can uh, open the App Store on our um, iPhone. Basically, we need to download the application to pair the devices together. So uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Then open the App Store, of course. In the App Store, tap on search, then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Golf. And tap on search. And on the search results, you should see this app, Garmin Golf, with this icon. Tap on the app, tap on the get button to download, oh, get button to download and install the application, and then wait until the application is done installing. Okay, the application is done installing. We can tap on open. To open it, of course. And in the app, uh, you will need to probably log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have one, you can uh, tap on create account button. But before that, as you can see, we have a pop-up about the Bluetooth permission. It is required, so allow it. Okay, and now we can go back to the accounts. So if you don't have an account, you can create it right here by tapping on create account and then use it to uh, log in, of course. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, I tap on next, and we need to enter the email address and password, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and then we can tap on next to login. As you can see, the watch left the pairing mode, so we're gonna tap on the check mark again to re-enter it. If you see this pop-up about the location, you can allow it or deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. And now we have more pop-ups about the activity, so you can allow it or deny it, something else. For now, not. So we can tap on profile icon right here, then tap on my devices. And then we can tap on Add Device. Find the Approach S50 on the list of devices. Tap on it. Tap on Start. It will start searching for the nearby devices. It should detect your watch if it's in the pairing mode. Tap on Connect it. Here, tap on Pair. As you can see, we have more pop-ups about the permissions. This is for the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow it. If you don't care, you can keep it denied. 
Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the pop-ups about the events on your calendar, on your watch. Again, we have the notification permission, calendar, you can allow it or deny it. And once you're done with the permissions, you should see this page, tap on next. Here you can uh, choose if you want to share the profile with some other people, like your connections or everyone. And you can also uh, share the scorecard if you want to. Um, and then you can tap on next, next, and wait until the setup is complete. Once it says uh, right here finish, you can uh, tap on it. And the watch should be right here on the list of my devices. Uh, and if you go to your watch, it should be ready to use. Okay, so that's how you pair through the setup process. Now I'm gonna unpair it quickly. Okay. Why is it st still here? That's weird. Let's go to settings, also remove it from there. Okay, Bluetooth and forget. Okay, and let's say you have a watch already set up and you want to pair it with a phone. Of course, you will need to download the uh, Garmin Golf application, but once you download it, install it and you log in, you can go to your watch, um, press and hold the upper button to open the menu. Then you can tap on the settings icon. In settings, you can scroll down and look for the connectivity and then tap on phone. And here you need to tap on pair phone. And the watch will enter the pairing mode. And then you can open the app, of course, and tap on profile icon, tap on my devices, tap on add device, select the approach S50. It should detect your watch and you can tap on start and basically go through the setup process. Uh, like we did before. Okay, and here we have it. It says connected. So our watch is paired with a phone, and that's how you pair it uh, through the settings. Okay, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.